Apple's iPad Mini considered the most fragile device in insurance tests. A Google Nexus 10 follow-up is now being rumored by HTC, and the Wall Street Journal now claims that Nokia is going for an Android phone. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I bet you 10 bucks you've never seen me wearing a polo shirt. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as ASUS has now launched the ASUS Vivo Tab Note 8. And yeah, I hate the long name, but you're not going to hate the price tag and the specs. This is a full Windows 8.1 tablet, an 8-inch tablet that's also capable of pen input as it does have a Wacom digitizer. What makes it even better is that it only costs you $329 bucks at the Microsoft Store. It's currently out of stock already, but apparently it is available on retail stores if you go to it. So um, yeah, move fast. Now let's talk about Samsung as, aside from the fact that we do have an unpacked event happening at MWC where we do expect the Galaxy S5, we have some leaks of model numbers now and listen to this, we have a value addition of the Galaxy S4 so there are rumors that apparently this lineup is going to continue selling, though we're not sure if that means a lighter version of the Galaxy S4 if that's even possible with the Galaxy S4 Mini. Uh, and also we're getting a Galaxy Tab 4 but we're not even going to talk about that because I don't know how many Galaxy Tabs are needed for Samsung to understand that people don't really like those tablets, uh, though the new UI changes things. Now another company that's being rumored to launch mid-range phones is HTC and we do know that their strategy with the one this year was to just launch one phone and uh, have it be a flagship but in the end they did launch the Desire lineup in emerging countries and apparently the company is going to continue doing that this year or more so as their quarter results are bad and apparently the company is planning to do this as their new strategy but even more interesting is the fact that if you wanted an HTC tablet and you wanted it to be a Nexus tablet Rumors have it that HTC will do it, but not the Nexus 8. Apparently it'll be the Nexus 10, so stay tuned for that. Up next, let's talk about Nokia. So we've been hearing the rumors of the Nokia Normandy for the longest time. Some of us believe that it's an Android phone, others believe that it's an Asha phone. The Wall Street Journal is now confirming, because they pretty much confirm rumors according to them, that uh, this Nokia Normandy project is an Android phone. A forked version of Android as we see on Amazon tablets and the idea is that probably this will be the Asha lineup just running Android in a forked version though again we don't really know if we're getting Google Play stores on these phones or if uh, Nokia is going to bring their own Nokia store to this but stay tuned we'll see how that goes as Amazon has its own way of doing things as well. And finally for the interesting news of the day Square Trade an insurance company has just launched their statistics on which devices they consider easier to break in the mobile lineup right now and the top number one device easiest to break is the iPad mini which is very interesting as the second most fragile device is the Galaxy S4 and there's actually a list of 10 devices links in the description for details as they'll also tell you what tests were run there and etc uh, but it's really interesting I mean the iPad mini we thought that Apple's build quality was legendary but that leads me to the question of the day how about if you share your experiences smashing a device which would you consider to be the most fragile in the market and tell us your experience as well smashing a phone again because in my particular case Samsung phones are easy to smash. The Galaxy Nexus was very easy to smash for me but leave us a comment down below uh, tell us your experience. And friends you know the drill if you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.